Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript interview question and answer series. And today's question is, what's the output of the following code? I'm going to show you a simple code snippet. It's simple, but tricky. So make sure you look at the code and then guess the answer. So let's see if you understand this code. First, we are declaring a variable y, which is where we are assigning a value one. And then we have a if condition where we have defined a function. It's an empty function. And then we are writing y plus equal to type of f. And then we are console logging y. Take 10 seconds, read the code correctly. It's simple code. These are the kind of questions you will mostly get when you're attending your front front end engineering uh, kind of role interviews. So it's simple. Just go line by line and you'll find yourself answering this question very simple. So the answer will be one undefined. Did you get it right? No. Let me explain it in the code. So we have declared y equal to one and we are saying function. This is true. So it will come inside, right? It's a function which is not false. It's true. So it will be coming inside this particular if block. Then it says y plus equal to, which means y is equal to y plus. So one plus type of, and since we have not defined what type of function it is, it will say undefined. And then when we console log, it will give us the value one undefined. Let me show you that in the, by executing. All right, so if you see here, it says one undefined because I, like I explained to you, we don't know the type of F. That's why it is giving you function. Now this question can be tricked, right? So if someone tells you 20, right? Or you cannot actually do that, but let's say uh, you can uh, you can probably return some value which is of a particular type, right? So you can define a type of it and then return it. So that way it will become that type. But right now this is undefined. That's why it's coming as one undefined. So go ahead, try this out yourself and let me know how we, if you have any issues. Stay tuned for more interesting such code snippets and questions to help you prepare for your interviews. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay tuned, keep learning, keep growing.